Yo. Mic checker, microphone record, there's Rocksteady at King of the Pit TV. Signing in live and large. We're listening to Aerosmith once again. Only eight tracks on this record. I think eight tracks. From, from, from what I've come across on these journeys through great records that I may have missed back in the day uh, through my uh, musical journey, I am finding that eight tracks might potentially be the optimal amount of content for a full-length record. Don't outstay its welcome, nothing overboard, enough time and enough energy and limited space to ensure that you can concentrate your best material and create a great record. So this is Aerosmith's second record entitled Get Your Wings. Uh, we listened to the self-titled record a little bit back now. And I'll tell you what, honestly, it took me a moment to get onto the second record purely as the first record didn't entertain me too much. From what I've seen of Aerosmith, I've seen the big glam 80s hair metal, hair rock, hard rock, ballad, pristine Aerosmith. So to hear them in their early days, it didn't really tickle my pickle to what I had initially expected. But this record, I assume, may be a little more of what we had last time, purely as it was released one year afterwards. 74, I think this record was put out, but we need to climb the ladder in order to get what I want to hear, i.e. Love in an elevator. Living it up when we're going down. I want to get to that stuff, but you know, I'm not putting this down. I'm coming in with a bias, yeah, but uh, I reckon there's definitely going to be some good material on this. There's a reason why they blew up as big as they did do, because they were putting out great records. So, uh, shout out to all of the Aerosmith heads out there. Uh, let's jump straight into it. Track one of eight. This one's entitled Same Old Song and Dance. Let's go. Come on. I think this one was on Guitar Hero back in the day. We're not messing, come on. That little bit of distortion on that bass guitar now. Sounds like a bit of fuzz, doesn't it? Little bit of brass in there. Come on, here we go. Here we are. We're just jamming on that riff. I saw Aerosmith many times in the 90s. Steven Tyler would always ask after the opener, you want new stuff or old school tonight? I never heard the crowd once say new stuff. Uh, you know what? Realistically, unless you're like a local band who's sort of blowing up at that stage, that 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 will be the case, won't it? That will be the case. If an act's been going since the seventies, you know, you know, you know. The who am I to talk? You never know, right? But fresh stuff is fresh. It's not going to have reached the ears. It's not going to have had years and decades to market itself to crowds. So it's completely understandable. Although, you know what I mean, with like modern artists and modern bands and such, um, you know, hype bands who are developing momentum and really creating steam. 
Uh, they might have a big hit single or EP or something that's just been put out. Don't tend to be an LP, but I'm speaking in regards to my personal experience as to where it's done the rounds. Yo, have you heard that new new single by so-and-so? Yo, have you heard that little free track EP by so-and-so, that change of sound? But when it comes to the full length, it takes a lot of time for people to absorb, you know, the full extent of it, I find. Come on. Better, better. We might have to put some respect on whoever's on brass there. We've got credits. No, I don't think we've got credits on this, but we've got Columbia Records, a division of Sony Music Entertainment. Um, a, a, a force to be reckoned with is Columbia Records, that's for sure. Writers, we've got Joe Perry and Steven Tyler. That's as much as we're getting, all right? And this is the single version. Same old song and dance, my friend. It's the same old story, same old story, same old song and dance. Eight hundred and eighty thousand views. A little bit of symphony here as well. So such as any great song, especially when it's within the realms of three minutes long, uh, we've got a great development instrumentally. Uh, the audacity of and the power of the record is, uh, you know what I mean, increasing as we get to the end to keep us, the listener, entertained. That was really good. Um, Lord of the Fires, which is a brilliant song title. Uh, I've never heard this reference. Let's keep on moving. There's Rocksteady, king of the pit TV. Uh, this this is one of the worst song titles I've ever heard in my life, uh, but I've never heard this reference before. We got 1.6 million views on this uh, same old song, and that's at 880,000 views. This was Lord of the Fires. It's track number two of eight. We're listening to "Get Your Wings" by Aerosmith. Let's just quickly deek at some comments. Uh, people get the wrong idea when they listen to Aerosmith's 80s ballads. This is their real sound. Um, this is a good uh, and interesting comment. I'm 20 years old and I just bought this record. Such a masterpiece. Love the fact that this is new music to me. So there you go. It might have been recorded back then, but it's still reaching new ears. And to those ears it reaches, it is fresh and it is new. And yeah, I, th I think I think that's a really, uh, thought as, as, as a musician myself, I think it's a very thought provoking comment. You know, it doesn't grow old. Because if it reaches somebody's ears for the very first time, that's still the very first time they've heard it. That's absolutely brilliant. Um, James Oftenberg says, The Get Your Wings album was Aerosmith's best album overall, in my opinion. Brings back lots of memories to the 10th grade, long hair and bell bottoms and having a carefree blast. Chicks, keg parties and fun soundtrack to my life. Yeah, that's the way to live, my man James. Uh, Ledsif says, Right on, dude. No doubt their best album by far, says Frank. Yeah, let's go. Let's jump straight in. Coming up. Right, we're grooving. We're grooving. Come on. Stadium Rock. This is something I assume a band like The Who would create.
Come on. Quite a low and steady dynamic for this one in comparison to same old song and dance. Uh, this is hard. Sean and Tracy one says one of those songs that make you press the gas pedal a little harder when driving. That's what you want. My all-time favorite Aerosmith album. Come on. Great vocal line on this. Come on, here we go. Come on. We're building up in dynamic here. We're gonna end up on the last one. We're gonna finish on the last chorus. We're building tension. Either it's just gonna continue to the end, which I don't really want. I want it to... Are we fading back out again now? Ah. You know what? I would I would have thought we'd bang, a, bang one of them sections on the end right there. I would have liked that. I would have liked that. But hey, I'm not in Aerosmith, so uh, what can I comment? I would have probably ruined the song. Uh, but that was Lord of the Fires. Um, you know what? Honestly, I don't think it was a great track. Um, I thought the atmosphere was good. It was an interesting listen. Uh, but I want to hear a bit more emphasis. A bit more... Ooh. We got well. I should I should get Cannibal Corpse on instead, shouldn't I? We got Spaced coming up next. Track number three. All right. Yes. Now, bless. Now there's Rocksteady at King of the Pit TV signing in. We're listening to Aerosmith's second record, Get Your Wings. This is track three of eight, entitled Spaced. Lego. Shout out to all the Aerosmith fans. Has Aerosmith fan base got any particular name, any titles to them? The Aerosmiths. Imagine if Morrissey fronted Aerosmith. That'd be sick. Oh, I'm quite frightened with this intro. So I'm gonna kick into Rain in Blood. Dun dun dun. Bam bam bam. Not a great transition there, not a great transition. Come on, here we go. Come on. Come on. So she could not be. Cause we may have so hard. 
trying to keep from going insane and my soul I cannot feel cause they make Riff! Riff! Da -da. Great riff. Very simple, but I like the tone. That, that was the worst track we've heard so far, <laughs> to be honest with you. That, that, that didn't sell the record to me. Uh, I didn't really think much of the sample and the jittery sort of start of the track initially. And that, that's about it. A couple of cool ideas as far as the riff is concerned, but nothing that caught me. I can't remember much of that. We've got Woman of the World coming up next. Potentially the longest one on the record, yeah. At five minutes forty nine, let's go. Uh. Yes, now bless now. Do not forget the rest now. Des Rock State King of Pit TV signing in. This one's a title, Woman of the World. Um, I hope this is better than the last track, because the last track, it wasn't a great, it wasn't a great number. That last track was entitled Spaced. Let's go. Come on now. Classic drum sound that. Here we are. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Well, well, 
Bing. Ooh. This track in particular, I think it's the drum beat, but it's it's a really good sounding drum kit. Uh, it's it's very 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 seventies, very seventies. But that's brilliant. It's not overproduced. It's uh, relatively simplistic. Doesn't need to be all over the shop. Uh, does the job. I like it. I think it's that snare. The hi-hat and the snare combination just produced really well. Come on now, who's who's that on the? Is that Steven Tyler who's doing that? I reckon Steven Tyler can play a mean little uh, harmonica, you know. I don't think much to the uh, Aerosmith logo on this one. What do you think? Bat wings. And a fuzzy A. Nice little fade out to that one. Nice little longer number. Uh, vocal line was good. Really like the drum production on that. Like the harmonica solo. Let's have a little deek at the comments and see what the people are saying about this one. All right. Wings, Toys and Rocks all kick ass and in my opinion are three of the greatest rock albums of all time. And Dream On, says Randy Claxton. If you grew up in the 70s, you know Aerosmith and they effing rocked. Such a classic rock sound. I love it. You know what? Classic rock sound. One response. Super rock absolute. Thanks, sir. Uh, I, I think that comes down to that drum sound. I think that drum is just... Uh, it, it, it is what it is. It is what you want to hear when it comes to uh, 
a classic rock 70s style number. This is when Aerosmith were a great band in the 70s, says Kevin. Uh, Kevin, you're not an old school Aerosmith. All right, he's talking to someone who's deleted their comments. But yeah, cool, let's keep moving. I'm actually looking forward to Aerosmith in the 80s. I want to see the development. We've got SOS, too bad, coming up next. Track number five, all right. Hold on, 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 hold on. Woo! Yes, no, bless no. There's Rocksteady at King of the Pit TV. This one's entitled Get Your... Well, it's not entitled Get Your Wings. This is the album we'll be listening to, Get Your Wings. The track's entitled SOS. Brackets, too bad. Let's just jump straight in, shall we? Track number five, Wego. Shortest track on the record, I think. Yep. Yeah. Little cheeky, catchy riff here. Come on. The greatest album, says Frank. vocal harmonies with the lead guitars. Too bad, too bad. Ooh, cheeky little bed nuts. Alright, let me just tell you, that was the easiest listening tune on the record. Not only was it the shortest, but great tempo, great toe tapper, great energy to it, great melody, great riff. Very good. I like that one a lot. I like that one a lot. Yeah, um, this is one badass record. My favourite Aerosmith record. Toys is a close second, says Scott King. Badass song, says Frank. Overlooked album, apparently, says Zed. Better than Toys in the Attic. Uh, I don't like the title of the record, Toys in the Attic, to be honest with you. I don't like anything that's sort of regarded to... Well, I don't know. There, there, there are some... Because I think creativity, uh, by default, is quite childish, right? You lose your create. You can allow society to say, you can't be creative no more. You have to work your job, go home tired, watch television, go back to work, create money for me. You can't be creative. So I appreciate the childlike essence that comes in with creativity and childlike uh, imagery and aesthetic and all that. That's completely fine. But like toys in the attic and stuff like that. Um, Body Count had a record as well, uh, which had like... Um, uh, child building blocks on the front and that I don't like it I don't like that sort of stuff I can't relate you know what I mean I'm a grown ass man come on now we got let rock rule uh, 2014 for some reason coming in I don't know what the deal with this is 
Um, might be a music video, but I don't know why 2014 is on the list. Might be a remaster. There's only one way to find out, people. I'll see you there. Okie dokie. Ooh, ah! Yes, now, bless now. Don't forget to rest now. There's Rock Steady at King of the Pit TV. We're listening to Get Your Wings, uh, the record. This is track six of eight. It's entitled Let Rock Rule. Now, we do have 2014 thrown on the end here, so um, I don't know what to expect. We might have a music video coming. It is on the official Aerosmith playlist, so, um, you know, it is legitimate. As for what we're getting, let's have a little deep, shall we? I don't want it to be like a complete live session, but we'll see what's coming up. Let's go. Sounds live, doesn't it? Why have we got a live tune on this? Right. Right, must be in promotion for a tar or something. Let me find the official recording. This is actually on the Get Your Wings playlist. Mmm. Train kept a rolling. That's the track we should have been listening to. I don't know why Aerosmith have napped up their own playlist. Had to have a quick look at the Wikipedia. Let's go, track number six. Come on now. Rock and roll, come on. Yo, I'll be fair with you, you people who really like this sound, you must be some old heads, man. This is some old timer sound right now. Right now. I might have heard this one somewhere. Come on. Plenty of lead guitar on this record. Thing is, the um, lead guitar, there are some guitar solo sections, but it feels as if a lead guitar is also used as a bridge to sort of take one verse to the other a lot in this band as well. Like a filler of the song. Come on now. Plenty of leads. One, two, three, four, and the train. This this isn't a live recording. What's going on? Why is it suddenly turned? What? This was not live, the studio inserted the live sounds as a finishing touch. This is, this is live though, this is a live recording right now. You can tell, you can tell a live recording. One of those instances where a cover version is way better than the original. Who did the original of this? Cover, this is the real deal. 
The first version I was aware of was the Yardbirds. However, I was incorrect. Uh, Johnny Brunette Trio did the original, I believe, in the 50s. They cover a black artist who wrote it anyway. I agree. I love all versions equally. It's a good song that worked for three decades. Sounds like rock and roll to me. Yardbirds and Johnny Brunette are badass musicians. <sighs> there you go. Surely this has been turned into a live version at this point because the production value is completely different as to what we heard initially. It's the, 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 it's very bass heavy. Let me know, let me know. But the vocal performance is incredible if it's live. How much of that was studio? How much was that live? You see how different it sounds there at the start? That's studio recording. That's not. Unless they've gone through the um, studio recording and tried to create an atmosphere that is, you know, like the live experience. I don't know what's gone on there. Let me know. I'm really interested in that. But that was Train Cup to Rolling. Uh, next, we've got Seasons of Wither. All right, track number seven coming up, There's people. Nothing There's nothing more powerful than you. Keep that in mind. Yes, now, bless now. Don't forget to rest now. We're listening to Aerosmith's Get Your Wings, track seven of eight. This one's entitled Seasons of Wither. Let's go. This can't be a live recording. 335,000 views. I assume not. I'd be surprised if so. Mark Abraham puts them up with Zeppelin regarding their early songs. That's a bold statement. That's a really bold statement. I personally wouldn't. Was this recorded live? I'm guessing it was. These guys are incredible. Response recorded at Intermediate Sound on Newbury Street in Boston. Yeah, we're fading in the uh, studio recording now. Ooh, Aerosmith on an acoustic guitar Let's listen to Get Your Wings 
Come on now. Sounds like Dream Theater. A change of seasons. Anybody know that one? Come on now. Woe is me Very dark production on this Here we go Double tracking the vocals here. We just went stereo on the vocal. I like that line. That the way he says "woe is me," I, I think that's really cool. With the changing of the instrumental behind. My favourite Aerosmith song ever. Rest in peace to my father. This was the last song me and him listened to. Wow. I liked the energy to that one, quite a melancholic number. I thought that was good. I don't think too much about all the live recording at the start. I think that's unnecessary personally. Um, but I guess it was uh, manifesting the success that was to come, if not already existed, I do assume at that moment in time. So uh, let's finish this record off. We've got Pandora's Box and then we'll call it a day, all right? There's Rocksteady at King of the Pit TV. We're finishing off this record, Get Your Wings by Aerosmith. This is the last track out of eight. It's entitled Pandora's Box. After, we'll give it a little overview and a rating. All right, let's finish off. 
least viewed video this one at 93k views so you know the, the people aren't uh, putting it as their favorite here we go a little bit of t-rex here come on up Yes, now. Come on, now. Oh, shit. I just lost my volume. One moment. We're back. Pardon my French. Yes! Yes! Come on, I, I, I'm feeling this one. A few fruity flavors in this. One, two, three, four. Open up your door for me. Come on now. Come on now. Ba -da -da. Just for me, yeah, 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 come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got it that time, yeah? A little plinking away on that root note. For me.
Very nice cadence to finish that. Very nice cadence to finish that one off. Very fun. Yeah, you know what? Least viewed, but potentially my favourite on the record. Yeah, great groove to it. Great lyrical content. Great energy. I like that one a lot. I like that one a lot. I'm going to finish this record off now. I'm going to give you an overview of my final rating of what I've heard. Okay, so hold on for that one. Peace.